It was a true challenge to organize a conference during a pandemic because many times we were thinking, shall we cancel, shall we call it off? But each time I kept believing and I kept saying, we need these ideas in Colombia. We need to make this happen. We need to meet again. We need to take a stand for freedom. These days, in theory, you could have your conference online, but I think there's a huge value in actually meeting people face to face. We organized the World Conferences since 1982. It's actually the first time we do this in South America. Freedom is popular here. It's getting more and more popular. We need these ideas in Latin America. Liberty International World Conference is like a seed of freedom, and we wanted to plant it here in Colombia especially. Este tipo de actividades son importantes, más allá de comunicar a los libertarios, también borrar las fronteras que existen, tanto culturales como físicas, para las distintas nacionalidades. New people are constantly coming into the movement. They don't have all this information. You can't just assume that they know it. This is actually my first time at a Liberty International event, and I have enjoyed it tremendously. The speakers have been fantastic and the programming in general has been really wonderful and I've gotten a lot out of it. This is not my first conference. My first one was in 1993 in Natal, in Estonia. And since then I've been to about 15 conferences of Liberty International. I came actually as a speaker and I was really excited to get an email um, from Yasik asking me to come and speak at the conference. So I'm very much looking forward to sharing about uh, what's going on in North Korea and more importantly uh, the current situation in South Korea which not many people know about. My topic was my life as a tax avoidance advocate. I really enjoyed um, the last speaker who actually was from Brazil and he spoke about their government there and what lessons we can uh, all learn from that. My presentation was about how to fight the Leviathan, that is the state, from within. Especially in Brazil, we have a state that is worth 40% of the GDP of the country. It's ridiculous. People always turn to the government and they say, well, there's got to be a solution in the politics, and the politicians are saying we can solve the problems. We try to convey the fact that the the, the cause of a lot of these problems is government action. If we seek out first, what did the government do to create the problem in the first place? Then we can find the solutions to freedom. Our main theme was market alternatives to government. As libertarians, we believe in competition. So it's important to make competition to the government. Y realmente estoy muy interesado en los próximos dos días que quedan porque vamos a hablar sobre las iniciativas privadas en transporte, en derechos civiles. Realmente todas estas alternativas y que se esté dando en América Latina son importantes porque la presencia del Estado en América Latina es abrumadora. We have to change that. We have to have a lighter state for the citizen and we have to uh, foster also private companies, private uh, entrepreneurs and so on. We need to create opportunities, we need to create jobs, we need to create new things, and that's the way we can change the world. And that way is through market alternatives to government. Here in Latin America, we have growing movements. Representatives from these movements came here. We had member of parliament from Brazil. We had head of Libertank that is educating hundreds of young people every year. I'm actually giving three different talks. Two of them are luncheons with students that are here from all over the place. Some of them are from uh, Colombia, but some are from Venezuela. We had a lot of people from Venezuela who essentially escaped across the border to be present here, not only to hear our ideas, but to give us what they've been thinking about, the importance of freedom. Realmente es difícil para los venezolanos salir del país actualmente porque el gobierno venezolano, que es una dictadura, tiene la frontera cerrada. Por lo tanto, los venezolanos tienen la necesidad de salir de manera ilegal. El régimen venezolano no permite o, o no facilita la adquisición de pasaportes o cédulas de identidad eh, a los venezolanos. Por suerte, el gobierno colombiano eh, acepta pasaportes vencidos y tiene un permiso temporal para que los venezolanos puedan ingresar a Colombia. What's great about having this here in Medellín it makes it easier for these people to, to come and meet people and share these ideas. So they've really got to, to have it somewhere where it's accessible to people. Hemos conocido personas de Europa, de América, incluso de Asia, 
y es una gran oportunidad para intercambiar ideas, pero también para juntos poder organizar el, las, el, las ideas y avanzar en las transformaciones que necesitan nuestros países. We've had uh, with us the guy from uh, Henry Song from uh, South Korea, who's been helping people escape North Korea. I mean, we are champions of of liberty for a lot of people who don't have it, and it's a discovery of how to make it happen elsewhere. Only when we join forces and share our thoughts, share our struggles, share our success stories, and um, work together, encourage one another, I think only then can we, uh, you know, leave a better world for our children. En Venezuela ocurre un momento histórico porque es la primera vez en que la mayoría de los jóvenes están apostando a las ideas de libertad y quieren evidentemente salir del socialismo para poder vivir en un país de libre mercado. No tyranny, no dictatorship lasts forever because freedom is in every person. We need some spiritual fuel. And we come here to refuel, to meet people with similar ideas, to network, to figure out how we can help one another and bolster what it is we're doing across the globe. Liberty International, I believe, is leading the fight in terms of letting the world know about what it means to have freedom, individual freedom, liberty, and to live in that system. This is the most important part. Helping those who really don't understand the philosophic foundations of freedom to understand those foundations so that they can defend liberty on solid ground. Nos unen las ideas vanguardistas que representan el libertarismo, lo que representa la igualdad real, que es la igualdad ante la ley, el libre mercado, las libertades individuales y, por supuesto, poder desarrollar el mundo en torno al progreso y la verdadera prosperidad que necesitamos los ciudadanos. And of course, it's always wonderful to meet new people, make new connections, make new friends, and of course, create new stories for the future. Liberty International World Conferences are sort of family gatherings. If you go to more than one conference, you'll meet some of the same people again. Uh, a lot of people uh, become such good friends that they visit each other, stay at each other's places, start working together sometimes, start relationships, get married. It's a great way to, uh, to meet uh, like-minded people more just than just the ideas. It's about the connections that you create, it's about the people, and it's about how can you change life, one life at a time. Just having a meal together, having a drink together, these simple things matter a lot, especially when uh, it's a very good Colombian drink or meal. Y realmente una de las principales cosas que me ha impresionado es la similitud que existe entre los defensores de la libertad. Sin distinción cultural o el idioma, todos nos tratamos como hermanos people that have the same values, that have the same ideas, the same philosophy, which makes it very pleasant to be with them. And this is just a wonderful opportunity to meet, to exchange ideas, to become friends. But also it gives you an opportunity to go to new countries and, and, and see what these are like and, and educate yourself. I think that's why people want to travel, uh, come together, meet people, uh, network with people, and most of all, learn from others, learn from experts, learn from one another share stories. This is just a, a crazy time to be alive. I'm really happy that there are still lots of people that believe in this idea of liberty and then want to get together and discuss it and help promote it. Good ideas are born in good conversations, in good atmosphere. This is what we deliver as Liberty International World Conference and this particular conference in Colombia I think was extremely successful in that matter. And the result was way better than I would have ever expected. Seeing so many people fly here to Medellin to be here to share with us the over 30 speakers that we had here. It was an amazing experience. Very thought-provoking and I would absolutely recommend it to anyone who's interested. Who knows where it's going to be next? I don't know yet where it's going to be next year, but those people are going to be very lucky to have it in their, in their own backyard. So you can go and, and pick up these, these ideas and meet people and get these opportunities that they wouldn't get if it was somewhere else. I think it's very relevant and very important for uh, you know, the speakers to continue to talk about why freedom is so important. Because without freedom, there is no life. Thank you everyone for being part of Liberty International World Conference 2021 Medellin. Let's make freedom a global matter.